Hello, I'm Johnny Rowland, your host of The Shooting Show, and welcome to today's program. Friends, we are indeed glad that you chose to join us today, and we're so hopeful about uh, our little network here. We're so hopeful that it can take off and, and it can grow and expand. We can add other programming to it. We're very, very hopeful about that. And, you know, friends, here we are down on the range today, uh, really a pretty uh, May afternoon, and as we're as you're seeing this, uh, those of you who didn't come, uh, we're just winding up the first day of our Fun Gun weekend uh, as you're seeing this particular program, and I know we're having a great time. I absolutely know we are. We've had so many people call from around the country, and, and uh, it is certainly, we're just so pleased about it being a great event. Listen to our radio show tomorrow. Those of you listening or watching by satellite can also get our radio show on the American Freedom Network. Now you can find that on SpaceNet 4, channel 19, 5.82 audio, and certainly I'll give you a running account. I, I should be at, at the Clarks in the morning uh, from the time you're seeing this doing our radio program. We're gonna uh, really enjoy meeting so many of our great viewers, people that have supported this project, and people who want to learn about why we have guns as United States citizens. You know, friends, we have a great show for you today. In, in fact, uh, we're having uh, this weekend, as you're seeing this, we're having our very first, heck, I guess we could call it a national match, our GRA action shooting uh, matches. We're going to have the first ones, and we've had a lot of excitement uh, come up because people are, are anxious. It's going to be something new, something different, something that's going to offer a wide variety of, of guns, uh, uh, an opportunity uh, to compete, or at least gun owners to compete, because gun can't do anything by itself. You know, many times the media and the people who don't know much about guns accuse the gun of, of going off. Well, you know what? You can load this 1911 or that revolver or anything else, and it'll sit on the shelf as, as long as you leave it there until someone picks it up and takes it out and shoots it or cleans it or whatever else. See, the gun can't do any, It's just a machine. And many times uh, in the past, I haven't, I don't think I've noticed this quite as much in recent years, but in the past, I would see uh, people, maybe it's because so many people watch our program that I'm in contact with, but you'd see somebody go into a gun shop and they'd pick up a, uh, maybe a revolver or rifle and say, oh boy, I bet that thing's bad. No, it's not. No, it's not. And we've got to get away from that because no, it's just a gun. Now you can admire its power. Yes, nothing wrong with that. Admire the power of, of launching a bullet down range or the ballistics or the velocity or the borsas, whatever else. But no, the gun has no magical powers and the possession of a gun gives none of us magical powers, but what it does, it allows you and I to defend ourselves against an onslaught of of an individual or multiple individuals who are trying to assault us, hurt us, rob us, attack us one way or another. And you know, the, the current government, the regime in, in charge, is fond of saying, uh, well, uh, we don't want to bother the sporting guns. Let me tell you what, friends. The Second Amendment to the Constitution of the United States is not about hunting. It's not even about sport shooting. It's about our ability as free citizens to repel and deal with a tyrannical government, a foreign power that would come and, and try and overrun our country. And yes, that's happened before. And you know, there are instances where citizens, even, even in, in fairly recent times, where citizens, uh, there's one particular incident in Tennessee I'm, I'm reminded of where the local citizens had a corrupt sheriff, had a corrupt uh, uh, county administration, and they couldn't get the people out of office because uh, the, the voting situation was rigged. They couldn't get them out. So finally, the townspeople armed themselves and they ran this individual. They put him out of office. I mean, they said, look, we're not gonna take it. Well, we have some disturbing things we're gonna be talking about today. We have some great things to show you also. We have some uh, uh, certainly, I'm a fan of action shooting, and even though we're doing something different from the IPSC, 
we have some tremendous athletes and some great shooters that we're going to be watching today. I went out to the Area 4 Championship uh, at Clark Custom Guns that was held here in this area this year, and uh, we're going to see some great shooting. No, that's not what I want to do, but still we can admire what some other groups do. And uh, in the beginning, practical shooting as promoted by people like Jeff Cooper and others uh, really was, was designed to be practical application of, of handgun shooting and for that matter it carries over into rifles and shotguns but uh, what we're going to do that I think is closer to what Jeff Cooper and those fellows originally uh, visualized in addition to us having a good time but uh, anyway I think you're going to enjoy seeing some things on that we've got a piece on the chronograph and I think uh, a, a chronograph to show uh, this particular week we've got a little piece from the judge that we're going to be showing you so, uh, again, we have a great show in store, but let me show you something briefly right now. See this target right here? This is a 25-yard standard American pistol target for use in rapid time firing. And let me see. Down here on the bottom is from the National Board for the Promotion of Rifle Practice. The National Board, not the NRA. The National Board for the Promotion of Rifle Practice. Back when shooting was encouraged, by our own government. This target dates from about, I believe, uh, March 19. Uh, this is the Army RIA uh, March of 1958. Mr. Clark had some of these old targets they gave me the other day. And, and you know, friends, it hasn't been that long ago when we had people in our own government who wanted to encourage citizens to learn to properly use and shoot guns, rifles, handguns, uh, everything that goes bang because, you know, the benefits of that were seen in, in the wars in this past century, in, in, in the 20th century for that matter. It showed up in World War II and World War I, certainly showed up in Korea, even showed up in Vietnam because those individuals who had who had, had rifle training, who had had uh, training in how to shoot guns, how to properly care for guns and, and operate them, had a real jump ahead of the people who, who came into boot camp and they hand them a gun and they say, what's that? <laughs> and, uh, hey friends, at one time we were known as a nation of riflemen. You know, the British really got upset years ago when some of our American shooters would go over to England and beat them at Bisley. Say, well, those Americans, they shoot all the time. Well, you know what? Those Americans have enjoyed or did enjoy living in one of the great experiments in human history of people governing themselves. Not being allowed to govern themselves, but people governing themselves without the boot of a, of a tyrant, the boot of a dictator holding them down. And that's who our ancestors were, friends. And yes, even today, we still have some freedom left. But you know, a lot of, a lot of folks are concerned. I want to bring this to you. You can go to, uh, to the internet, www.gunowners.org, from Gun Owners of America. And certainly, uh, they have some information here. It's a 23-page report, 23 pages to print it out, on how Bill Clinton possibly could declare martial law. And you know, we think that is the unthinkable. Well, who knows what's going to happen in Y2K? And we know that these socialist Democrats, Democrat socialists, liberal socialists, not just Democrats, but some Republicans too, their goal is to disarm us as a people. And they may use the Y2K incident with the computer glitches, which I'm sure some will occur. I don't think it's going to be as serious as and some people are saying, but still, some's going to occur, probably. And these folks may use the Y2K so-called crisis to declare martial law. See, Bill Clinton may not even leave office. If he can, he can just keep declaring a state of national emergency, he can suspend the elections. And one of the things that the nice folks from the government do when martial law is declared, and it's happened before, it's happened a number of times in our country, looking through some of these papers, you can see where uh, back in the, the 1800s, uh, President Grant sent troops into nine counties in South Carolina and <clears throat> says here they were, uh, orders were issued 
to deliver either to the Marshal of the United States for the District of South Carolina or to any of his deputies or to any military officer of the United States within said counties all arms, ammunition, used, kept, possessed, or controlled by citizens. And they arrested a bunch of people. And wait a minute, it's happened a number of times. That's just one I came to. Uh, look what happened in Waco, Texas. You think that those people, the Janet Reno Express, you think they're not serious? We know what they're capable of, friends. And if there's ever a time that you're going to call your congressman and voice your concern. And I tell you what, I believe I'd call Georgia Arms and I'd try and put back a little ammunition because it may become hard to get, I don't know. Uh, those of you who would like to have our 460 rolling conversions, uh, certainly we, I think we've got some time left here. I, nobody knows what's gonna happen. But if these folks in Washington understand our concern, well, you know, maybe they'll be a little slower to, uh, to pull this fiasco, if in fact they will. Uh, you can buy our 460 rolling kits for the 1911. Realize it is uh, for the more recent manufactured guns of, of quality, such as the Kimber, the Colt, the Springfield. I'll tell you what, people are having good results with the Renko's. You can find them at good prices, and there are some others out there uh, that are good guns, but it needs to have modern heat treat. But you can buy this kit from us here at the program for $275 plus $5 shipping. And we have them in stock now. We can send them out. We're still, uh, we should have the, uh, some folks have pair ordnance guns that have the uh, steel frames. Uh, we're waiting on barrels for them, but we've been waiting for a while. Hopefully they'll be here any time, and we hope we can get those out to you. Uh, we also have our revolver conversions. You know, on the Smith & Wesson uh, 625 for the 45 ACP, the conversion is only $99. And uh, you can send your gun legally. You can go down to UPS. If you have one of these revolvers, you want it converted, you can send your gun legally to, to me here at the program because I'm an FFL holder and I can send it back to you uh, without any paperwork. I can't send anybody else and of course wouldn't, but if you send the gun to me, an FFL holder, for the work being done on it, uh, then we can send, turn right around and send the gun back to you without paperwork. And I'll tell you what, friends, uh, it is serious. You know, we fought this battle for a long time, and it is such a struggle to stay here. I cannot adequately describe the struggle it has been to keep this program on the air. But you know what? As, as long, as long as we're here, this, this television signal goes all over the United States, and we're talking about why we have guns and what's happening. As long as we're on the air, we're not defeated. As long as we're on the air, we have a chance to win as gun owners, to win as free Americans. And, you know, I've had to ask for your help. Oh, my goodness, been, we've done it so long, I've forgotten how long it was. But that's how we're here today, friends. It is very, very serious financially. It's uh, serious for the entire, the entire group of programs here. But our shooting show certainly uh, has been struggling for a long time. So many of the, of the industry people are afraid to get involved. They're afraid. I guess they're Republicans. They're cowards. Well, you know, a lot of them live in nice houses. A lot of them have government contracts, and they're so scared if they help sponsor our program. And we tell you the truth about what's going on. Well, maybe some nice bureaucrat with the government will come back and say, oh, whoa, 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 you can't sponsor that shooting show. But regardless, we're still here today. If you can join our Gun Owner Rights Association, please do. Don't put it off. Please do it. We need your help. If you can join uh, $50 for an annual membership, $300 for a life membership. As I've said many times, if we don't make some headway, we won't have guns left in the not too distant future. Right now, if things continue to go like they have been on the legislative front, our time is short as gun owners. We hope that Bill Clinton is not crazy enough to declare martial law. We hope not. We hope not. But you know, there are a number of people that would totally, would, that would say, hey, that's a great excuse. Let's declare martial law and let's go around and pick up those guns. And you know, they have been trained. You've seen pictures right here on the show of, of U.S. troops training, going house to house, picking up the guns. What do you think that's about? What do you think that's for? Friends, if you can help us, because our little nucleus here, those of you watching the program, us here on the project, 
our little nucleus has made a difference. But the only way we're going to be able to win is to get many, many more people involved. Will you help us? If you can donate anything, if you can help sponsor our show, please do. Please do, friends. Because it's very, very difficult staying on the air. If you can help us, you know our mailing address, The Shooting Show, 327 Irvin Roland Road in Doberly, Louisiana. The zip code is 71024. If you can help us, please do. Well, we have a great show. Let's, uh, in fact, we'll, we'll, I think we'll start today uh, with, uh, hey, let's use one of these old targets back when the U.S. government trusted its citizens. That's odd, isn't it? Back when the government trusted citizens. Now what's changed? What's different? We're still the same people. I think the government's changed. Because you know what? If they're afraid of us having arms, here's Bill Clinton selling whatever he could to communist China. You know, I heard they said that the, the Chinese communist espionage has been going on for a number of years, okay. Well, maybe they got the bullets. I heard this said earlier today on the radio. said uh, maybe they got the bullets from from... Reagan, Bush, whoever else, Carter, from, from years back. But Bill Clinton sold them the gun. He sold them the real goods to make it work. And it's so amazing. He doesn't mind arming the communist Chinese with nuclear weapons. Doesn't mind that. Doesn't mind helping them get missiles where they could literally destroy large cities in the United States. Doesn't mind that. But he wants to disarm us. Hmm. Interesting picture here, huh? Doesn't that, doesn't that kind of, even I think, even the most jaded person would have to see that a bigger picture shaping up. Friends, we don't want the liberal socialist paradise, the workers' paradise. We don't want, you know, if I want to live in Cuba under communism, I'd go to Cuba. If I wanted to live under communism, I'd go to China, but I don't want to. I want to be free, just like you do. So please help us if you can. Let's start. Uh, hey, let's start with the defense load. Actually, Georgia Arms has, is selling a lot of 460 rolling ammo, and I've got the full charge stuff there. Well, heck, let's just take some of, uh, somebody said, well, Johnny, how's that defense load? Is that pretty good stuff? Well, hey, let's find out. I believe it works pretty well, wouldn't you say? The defense load. Well, heck, just for fun, since we're here, let's see how the defense load looks from behind this revolver. How about this? And we've got our water bottle over here. Let's see what happens. Stay tuned for more of The Shooting Show after these important messages. The Shooting Show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station.
Friends, here it is. This is the great Georgia Arms 45 DA Colt or double action Colt cartridge. This is the first major improvement on the Colt 45 since 1873. They have this in loaded cowboy ammunition. They're also selling brass so you can load your own combinations. This cartridge case is absolutely a joy to work with. We're even seeing improved accuracy, we think due to the slightly larger rim on our 45 DA Colt case. You can get a free catalog or you can order these from Georgia Arms 1-800-624-6861 for their entire lineup and please tell them you saw it here on our show. Now friends, of course the cowboy load is mild but super accurate and of course you can take your hand loads up to the limit of what the loading manuals will allow. The great 45 double action Colt cartridge from Georgia Arms. Give them a call today, friends. A free phone call with a free catalog. Of course, realize that Georgia Arms has the best lineup of ammunition for your handgun or for your rifle. Hey, they're even selling loading components. And my goodness, nobody knows what's going to happen with Y2K. Nobody knows what the Clintonians have in store for us as far as, as gun confiscation. So if I were you, I would try and put back some ammunition, some loading components, whatever I could. And yes, Georgia Arms is shipping daily 460 rolling ammo. They're up to two loads now. The full power... Uh, a super hot load plus the defense load, which makes a lot of sense for police officers or if you're a homeowner, something to keep in your home uh, for personal defense. Anyway, give them a call today, 1-800-624-6861, and please don't forget to tell them you saw it on our show. Now, friends, here we are at Clark Custom Guns in Princeton riding among the stages at the recent Area 4 IPSC uh, Championship. Uh, this was really a very involved match. Had about 400 competitors, I believe. And just looking through some of the stages, uh, you had a most interesting setup. And we have a lot of Ipsic fans. In fact, here's Troy, uh, the match coordinator. Let's talk to him now. Area 4 tournament is an annual tournament we hold. We attract about 300, 330 shooters from the four state area. It's not quite 14 states. But uh, it's uh, Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, and Oklahoma. Well, Texas is big enough for 10 states by itself. There you go. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a good sized state, but uh, we have a lot of good shooters here. Of course, we attract shooters from all across the country. Uh, we have a lot of foreign shooters here. We have a man from Germany, several Canadians, and we also have some Guatemalan shooters uh, and a couple of people that have been in the United States for years, but come from foreign countries too. So, uh, we take them from all 50 states and, and several foreign countries. It's a 13-stage pistol tournament, and it's open to any member of the United States Practical Shooting Association in good stand. Well, sir, we wish you a lot of good luck on the match. Looks like you've gone to a lot of trouble out here, on, and looks uh, attendance looks excellent too, huh? Yeah, it's uh, really good. Uh, we're looking at almost 400, 450 people a day for uh, uh, both uh, shooters and staff, so well, we've got quite a crowd. We're certainly encouraging it to what you folks are doing. Appreciate you taking time to visit with us. We appreciate it, too. We also appreciate the Clarks uh, letting us use the range of Fine facility. This is Stage 8, Flirting with Disaster, sponsored by Piper Shooting Supplies. Let's see what we got. Looks like we have Michael Voigt up next. Notice we have guns on the table with magazines laid out there. We're talking full charge, full bore race guns here. Show clear. Of course, this is a magazine. Michael, as you've seen before on our program. And, uh, one of the finest shooters you'll find at any match. Let's see if we can get a close up on some of the targets before they're paid. Bravo, Charlie! That was there. Alpha, Bravo! Alpha Charlie. 
good shooting. And here we have our good friend, our friend of shooting from Canada, Jerry Mitchell. Jerry shoots a semi-automatic equally as well as he does the various revolvers. And three magazines, I believe. Marcus time was not an This is well-known shooter Ted Bonnet, and Ted, where are you from, sir? I'm from San Antonio, Texas. From San Antonio, how are you enjoying the match? Uh, the match is great. We got some wonderful weather, a lot of good folks here, a lot of great shooting, and uh, the stages are really uh, somewhat tough. There's a lot of tough shots, and uh, it's a really good match, good shooting match. Well, sir, we wish you a lot of luck. We appreciate you taking time to visit with us. Thank you very much. And here we have Kay Clark Mitchell. -Lick. Certainly, still the current world women's champion. And let's watch her in there. This is stage 13, the sponsor by Briley Pistol, the Sheik, Your Bound Tango 3, whatever. <laughs> Let's walk out and see what they're going to do. Two and three only from box A. One, two, and three. Engage T7, Pepper Popper, one through four from box B. That's what I thought. See. <laughs> uh, T4 through 6 may be engaged as they are invisible. All other targets. Are Any questions? Good luck. You have five minutes to look over the stage. Hello, first shooter. No. Remember, he has to get off these shots. Wow. We all are sitting in the box there from behind the cover. <laughs> from behind concealment. I don't know if that's concealment or cover designated by. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> see how he does. Some people more than well, kind of humorous. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, sir. Humorous is also fertilizer. Pretty dog all fast. Let's see what the shooter's gonna do. We have an interesting looking stage here. A lot of targets. Let's see how it's gonna go. This is paradise by the day if you like. See how it looks. 
on this particular drill. Then teach me something shooting out a simulated automobile. See how it works. Stay tuned for more of the shooting show after these important messages. The shooting show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station. And we want to mention the good folks at Clark Custom Guns in Princeton, Louisiana, one of the most complete gun shops in the entire United States. They do all sorts of things like this specialty meltdown on this new STI gun. Also, uh, they have an excellent staff of people to help you with guns such as these Benelli Super Black Eagles taking three and a half inch uh, magnums, a complete line of handguns, semi-automatics, revolvers, all sorts of neat things in the shop there. And of course, here's Mr. Jim Clark himself out helping a customer, some of the nicest people you'd ever want to meet. They have a complete line of loading supplies, loading tools, gunpowder, you name it, primers, uh, all sorts of accessories for your guns, uh, whatever you might need, certainly within reason. Here's Kay Clark Michalik when she's not winning championships, back working there in the office. And here's her husband, Jerry Michalik, the fastest revolver shooter in the world when he's not winning championships at work. Here's Jim Clark Jr. back on the lathe, the same drill, when he's not winning championships, working right there in the shop. That's why you can get such complete quality of product and expertise here at Clark Custom Guns. Friends, give them a call today, area 318-949-9884. They have a great catalog. We appreciate them supporting our project. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jim Clark, Jr., whom you recognize many times being on our program. And, Jim, how's the match going for you, sir? Well, not so bad today. Yesterday was a pretty good disaster. Uh, it just takes more practice. A lot of good shooters here, huh? A lot of good shooters. We've got over 400 shooters here, and everything seems to be running pretty smooth. Well, sir, we wish you a lot of good luck. Thank you. This is stage nine, Dale House Rock. Let's see how this looks. Dale Fouse. Dead body! Shooter for many years, well known. Look at this, really. High capacity, 38 super guns, and 9 by 23 mostly. 
anywhere 25 plus in the magazine. See this lady on this particular stage. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Así se ve. for Banner, a sponsor of Triangle Shooting Sports. And Miles, what, are some, what do you want to show us here? Well, uh, we've got guns, uh, 40 Smith & Wessons. Uh, we've got 45 guns, uh, 38 Super Race guns. Uh, and what is this red gun you have here? Well, this is the gun that I use. Uh, uh, Benny Hill, the uh, gunsmith that owns this uh, establishment, built it for me. Uh, see more sight on it. One thing about the comps that we are designing and building at this day is a true 180 degree radius comp. There's no flat part, part in the comp, it's all round circular. The porting of the barrel is set up so that the gas is throughout the first port, second, third. By the time they're reaching out here, the gas is very good. On a target, you can shoot a target. Right here, a no shoot target or any type of target, you will not have any gases, any powder residue on the target that close. No kidding. Because the, comp, the nature design of the comp, the gases are coming out the first ports and also going out the side of the fort. So it looks good. We wish you folks a lot of luck and we appreciate you taking time to talk with us. Sure. We thank you. And we have all kinds of things on display here. And here is the booth from Precision Bullets. And it looks like they have some molly coated bullets here. They're, they're polymer coated, excuse me. My friends can talk about polymer coating here. Here is a situation where the, they actually melted a lead bullet and the polymer stayed intact and the lead melted and ran out. Fascinating. For information on these polymer coated bullets, which sounds like a good idea to me. You can call Precision Bullets in Kemp, Texas. That number is 903-498-8451. Again, 903-498-8451. Sounds like a good idea to me. Okay. Now, friends, all this shooting with literally hundreds of people present and shooting their guns, and imagine this, not one injury. Uh, a lot of you out there shooting matches, I think, would like uh, to take note of some of the stages you've seen here. This will help you in your local matches, and we certainly think that uh, this is a great sport, one that we're certainly going to do different with our GRA action shooting, but nevertheless a great sport to be supported. Stay tuned for more of the shooting show after these important messages. The shooting show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station.
Now, friends, our dance video sponsor is back with us again this week. And I tell you what, to find out more about what these tapes offer, let's hear from the man himself, Mr. Sam Neal. Now the foxtrot is unique among the dances in that it is the first of the ballroom dances that you use a partner effort. It takes both partners to make the dance look good. And this is part of the fun of dancing. Dancing is one of the things, one of the few things that a man and a woman can do together. A lot of men like to hunt and fish and not many women like to. A lot of men like to play golf, not many women like to do that. But dancing is something that both of you can have fun doing and both of you can enjoy for the rest of your life. My friends, you can learn these great ballroom dances in the privacy of your own home. You can call TV Productions at area 318-869-0439. Or you can write to Dance Tapes, Care of TV Productions. The address is 106 East Kings Highway, Suite 216 in Shreveport, Louisiana. The zip code is 71104. And let's hear from the judge today and see what he has on his mind. Well, I see that Elizabeth Dole has shown her true colors. She apparently doesn't remember that uh, that's one of the reasons why her husband got defeated for president because he was the author or the the person who was responsible for the Brady law ever being in in effect uh, with that three-day waiting period and so forth and of course we don't know what George Bush is going to do he has been very very successful at uh, concealing what his attitude is about most most things. Uh, it's true that he did uh, support the concealed carry bill in Texas and that's a plus in his favor. <clears throat> now the one there, there are two people in this race that have absolutely irrevocably committed themselves to the to the issue of firearms ownership. And one of them is Pat Buchanan uh, and the other is a senator from New Hampshire, Bob Smith. And Smith has really done more in the way of, of uh, accomplishment as far as the, uh, the firearms owners are concerned than, than anything else more than anybody else. In fact, he was the author of the, uh, of the bill that passed the Senate by a veto-proof margin uh, and then got shot down in conference committee to pro prohibit the FBI from uh, keeping, keeping the records of the, uh, of the uh, owners of firearms and also the the big user charge that they were going to tack on to it. Uh, the user charge got got uh, uh, incorporated in the I say the lack of a user charge got incorporated into the uh, final bill, but uh, the thing that didn't get incorporated in, into it was omitting uh, aggrieved firearm owner, firearms owners from filing suit against the uh, against the FBI and having their legal fees paid. Uh, that would really have been the way to have done it. And unfortunately that got that got out of the bill. You can be hearing a lot more from us on this on this subject of presidential politics because I really want to know uh, what the future is going to bring. If it's another Clinton-esque type, type thing, uh, uh, we couldn't stand another four years of this. It's been hard enough this eight years. 
Now friends, what we're looking at here is the chronograph. This is the Pro Chrono from Competition Electronics. You know, these folks also make great timers and a lot of you out there, especially if you're planning on uh, doing, uh, shooting some of our matches, this chronograph here is how you will establish the power factor. And notice it's just mounted on the camera stand here. Uh, and they're very simple mechanisms in how they operate. See these little slots right here? This is an electronic eye. What happens when the bullet passes over this eye and then passes over the other eye? This one starts the timer when it passes this one. This one stops the timer. So that's how fast you know uh, when we say a bullet's running so many feet per second. Well, that's how it measures it. This eye starts the timer, the next one stops it. And these are, are shades here because these chronographs don't work well in bright sunlight. They work best when it's shaded. So when we have the chronograph right now, it's over in the shade. And let's just see what, uh, let's go ahead and shoot through it. We have a little, uh, it has all kinds of functions. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Here we go, and we'll see it has the sign there saying ready. And we're going to get back a little way, and let's go ahead and we'll shoot this 45 uh, through there. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, and that was ball ammo. Oops, if I can keep the camera steady here. 786 feet per second, which uh, that's about like a lot of the ball ammo, 230 grain ammunition. Well, let's back up a little bit and let's shoot our 460 and see what it does through the chronograph. Here we go. Okay. How about... <laughs> well, it's, that's a hot one there. It's, it's uh, 1,597 feet per second for our 460. And that's just, uh, just demonstrating how it works. So... Uh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, <clears throat> some of these are really remarkable in what they'll do. i tell you what, uh, uh, our 460 is quite a cartridge, but here and there, this is something that uh, clubs need, and they're to the price now that uh, you can, the individuals can afford these things. They're down around $100 or so. Here's our pro timer and certainly the chronograph out there. Let me give you these folks' number. Competition Electronics, their area 815-874-8001. Let's talk about your inexpensive graphics here. But if you want to call them, they really have some great prices. They may even give some discounts for clubs. But Competition Electronics, area 815-874-8001. Something else I want to show you. Uh, we use uh, Wilson magazines, these Wilson Combat magazines in our 460s. And in my way of thinking, this is as good a a 1911 magazine as money can buy. So let me give you Wilson Combat's number if you'd like to have some of these. If you're having trouble with your 1911 functioning, the magazine is the first thing you should change. And these Wilson Combat magazines, this is not a paid commercial, we're just trying to help you folks out. You can give them a call, 1-800-955-4856. Wilson Combat, please tell them you saw it on our show, but uh, this can answer a lot of reliability problems people have with their 1911s, and they certainly, this is what I personally use in my own 460, so 1-800-955-4856. Uh, now, friends, we're looking at the 460 Roland pistol. This is one of the most powerful pistols in the world, certainly one of them. Well, you know what? That's a lot of power, but this right here is a pin, and the pin can not only overpower this pistol it can overpower our freedom for the United States by it can overpower them by lawmakers who don't care about our heritage and don't care about our future as free Americans now this is true if more of us as citizens don't get involved and stop this is what we need we need pen control we need government control we need law control that's what we need if more of us don't get involved, we're going to lose everything. Now, that's the way it is. This is not a joke. This is serious. That's the way it is. More of us have to get involved. Let me tell you what. We just have a very short uh, uh, span of time here. We have found a satellite uplink that some people are willing to sell us. Now, that's how we can deliver more programming at lower cost, and this is a wonderful opportunity. Now, today, I don't have the money to do it. 
but that's okay. We're working on it. We've had uh, one of our, our friends out there has, has said they're going to put up part of it. But we need to raise about twenty twenty five thousand dollars and we'll have our own uplink. That means cheap satellite time. That means the future of the network. If you'd like to help us, like to get involved, please call our, our shooting show, our area three one eight three seven seven five one eight nine. This is a huge opportunity. But friends, the bad news is if we don't and more of us, we don't reach more Americans, we're gonna lose it all. This pen here in the hands of people like Bill Clinton, would be dictators, who maybe not would be, huh? People that literally want to disarm us and take away our rights as American citizens. Friends, we gotta have your help. We got to have your help. It's week to week. Right now, we need your help. Please send whatever you can to the shooting show if if you can. We've got to have your help. Let's go to our support group, uh, a group of sponsors that helps us stay on the air. Certainly, we have uh, Steadcraft, a custom machine shop in Torrington, Connecticut. Their number is area 860-496-7001. We have Dennis Crocker, firearms trainer in South Carolina. His number is area 864 Five eight seven eight seven two two. We have custom leather work and saddlery in Denham Springs, Louisiana. Their number is area two two five six six seven nine two two five. We have camouflage technology. The folks at Paint Gun Stocks. Their number is area nine zero nine six seven four six four eight eight. We have Flying Horse Galleries. Great artwork on the web. Their location is www.flyinghorse.net. We have BC Armory in East Leroy, Michigan. Bruce works on pistols and revolvers. His number is area six one six seven two nine five five zero eight. We have Cottrell Refrigeration, Heating, and Cooling in Tuscumbia, Alabama. His number is area 256-381-1887. Please remember our radio show on the American Freedom Network on Sunday from noon to 2 o'clock Eastern Time on uh, SpaceNet 4, uh, Channel 19, 5.82 Audio. And I tell you what, let's, uh, let's go out on today's program with our video about America. What have you become, America? Where have you gone? Let's do that right now. Okay, I'll try. Stand by the studio. Take 44. You ready? Johnny, get it right this time. <laughs> I'll certainly try. I'm going to try. Absolutely. Okay. All right, let's try and do it. Just what do we truly believe? In faith we 
celebrated all things good And if we were breathed most still would With the tyrant's hot breath chills us all God and country, won't you please hear our call?